Aloha everybody, Mr. Pike back again, and today we're talking about Google Classroom. Now if you've worked with me before, you know we've used Classroom for turning in things like writing assignments, but there's so much more we can do with it. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for starting out with Google Classroom. To get on Google Classroom, first go to Chrome, and in the address bar type in classroom.google.com. When it first comes up, you may see some classes you're in already, or you may need to join a class. If your class has not been set up already, your teacher will need to give you a class code. It'll look like this, seven numbers and letters that you'll need to enter to join your class. To join a class, click on the plus button at the top of the page and click join class. Where it says class code, you're going to type in the code that your teacher has given you. It should be a combination of letters and numbers, seven of them, and when you're done, click the Join button. Now when you start, you might have no classes on your screen, or you might even have more than one class. It's going to depend on your situation. Class is set up. All you need to do to enter it is click on the name of the class. Once you're set up in a class on Google Classroom, this is the first thing you'll see when you click in. This is called the Class Stream. It'll have announcements from your teachers and a place where you can see what work is going to be due soon. The next most important tab is the Classwork tab. I'll do a video later on how to upload work here. As the year goes on, this Classwork page will be filled with more assignments. It's a great way to look and see what's going to be coming up and to check on old assignments. The two most used pages will be Classwork and Stream. Looking at the Stream page, your teacher can post announcements here, and you can ask questions. You'll see a spot that says share with your class, or ask a question to your teacher. You can type in what you'd like to share with your teacher there, and if your teacher has posted something, you can put a comment below. In your comment, you might answer the teacher's question, or ask a question of your own. That's the very basics on how to get started on Google Classroom. In other videos, I'll show you how to upload your assignments and some more things that you can do in Google Classroom. See you later.